Hello again. Things haven't been going well at Tip Top Trading. There was a fire in the warehouse caused by Mr. Ingalls' cigarette, and now Mr. Socrates, the big boss from America, has turned up unexpectedly. So, honey, are you? Anna, I'm Anna. I work here as a sales executive. We haven't met before. We sure ain't. Looks like I've arrived just in the nick of time. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, Mr. Socrates! Golly gosh, what an unexpected. Unexpected, all right. Looks like this company's in a mess. Uh, yes. It was okay when I popped out for some biscuits. Um, would you like one? Biscuits? They're cookies, man. Look, now what do I have to do to get a triple shot organic skinny cappuccino around here? I'll get you one, Mr. Socrates. It's okay, honey. I need you to book me a hotel room. You, what's your name again? Paul. Can you fetch me one? Right, Anna. Booking a room for Mr. Socrates. This is something you can't get wrong. Well, I've never done it before. I'm sure you'll be okay. When you book a room, here's what you could say. Hello. I'd like to check availability and prices for a room, please. Does the price include breakfast? Are there any business facilities such as internet and Wi-Fi? I'd like to go ahead and make the reservation, please. Okay, I'll give it a try. But where shall I look? Try searching on the internet. Look for a five-star hotel. He's a five-star guest, after all. Good luck. Thanks. I better get back to the office and get started. Hi, Anna. Oh, hi, Tom. Well done for saving Mr. Ingle in that fire. You were very brave. Oh,、uh, it was nothing really. So,、uh, what are you doing? I've got to book a hotel for Mr. Socrates. No. You know, we must be in trouble. He never visits. Really? So, where shall I book him into? Well, my friend runs a fantastic hotel. It's five star. It's called. The Royal Imperial. Look, I've got his number. Give him a call. Mention my name. You're bound to get a special rate. Thanks, Tom. No problem. Oh, but、uh, don't forget, I've heard Mr. S only likes a room with a single bed in it. He gets spooked out if there's another empty bed. Oh right. Okay, I might as well give it a try. Hello, Royal Imperial Hotel. Oh, hello. I'd like to check availability and rates for a room. When for? For three nights from tonight. Your best room, please. All our rooms are the best. But yes, we have one. It's one hundred pounds a night. Right. I work with Tom. Tom Darcy. His friend runs the hotel. I wondered if you could offer me a special rate. Tom Darcy. No, I've never heard of him. Sorry, it's still one hundred pounds. Does the price include breakfast? Yes, we offer a full continental breakfast of toast or bread, oh, and tea or coffee, and cereal. Oh, and do you have any business facilities? Well, we've got paper and pens. I was thinking internet, Wi-Fi, shoe shine. Yes, we've got that. Good, and most importantly. Is this a single room? We've only got twin rooms. Twins? You've only got room for twins? No. We could take a bed out and leave just one in if you want. Oh, that would be perfect. In that case, I'd like to go ahead and make reservation, please. Good. How would you like to pay? Well done, Anna, for booking the hotel. But I have a feeling Tom's recommendation may not be as luxurious as he says. Let's hear the phrases Anna used when booking a hotel. Hello, I'd like to check availability and prices for a room, please. Does the price include breakfast? Are there any business facilities such as internet and Wi-Fi? I'd like to go ahead and make the reservation, please.
So the room is booked. I wonder what Mr. Socrates will think of it. He's a particularly fussy man, as we'll find out next time. <laughs>